So here I am on Temple Square again. We're continuing our tour. Here's the Keystone. Or like, not the... <laughs> I mean like the, the center, it's got, it's got the basic compass. They just replaced this, it used to be a big globe, and now they have southwest, south, it's like a, it's a, just a compass. And here's the American flag with the Utah flag, I believe it's up there. And then this is the temple, and we're back again. And hopefully we'll run into someone we know, who knows. Okay. So in the last vlog that I had on Temple Square, I, I commented on this tree that they had all the people on. I just figured out why they're on this tree. If you look closely, I'll get a close-up. Those are lights on that tree. Christmas lights. And no, that it is August 25th today. And there are still leaves on the tree. It's hot now. And the Christmas lights are starting now. They're putting them on the trees. I don't even know what to say about that. And if you look over here at the assembly hall, they're still doing construction on it, and it is so loud and annoying. And he's coming through, so I better move. But we'll give you a look at what's going on here. Wow. They are tearing it up. They're putting a whole new foundation in around the monument. They've got all this going on. This is insane. Oh boy, I'm going to get away from here. So we'll continue this in a little bit. So here we are still on Temple Square and you can see some of the flowers and everything. They have full-time gardeners. If you watched my other video blogs, you know that. Oh, oh my gosh! Rachel Sprague won the world. Oh, hey! It's my friend from Indiana. I haven't seen you since a long time ago. Yeah, it's what, been a while. What are you doing in Utah? I'm um, just here seeing the sights before I go off to BYU, Idaho. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Did, did you think you would run into me here? Did, oh my gosh! What? I'm so confused. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone from Indiana for like months. Oh man. <laughs> well, hey, do you want to go on tour as I'm finishing up my video blog? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go to the conference center because that's where I left off. Okay. So if you can see the rainbow on me at all, that's actually from the skylight. It's just the sun's hitting right, and we've interrupted what was going to be our tour from where I left off last week because there's going to be an organ recital. And it's going to be pretty neat. The organ has been moved down to the lower part of the stage instead of where it's normally at, which is up there closer to the organ, right below all of the choir's seats. And the reason that the organ has been moved is because the orchestra was actually playing with the choir yesterday in the music and the spoken word, which was here, and I took a video blog of that too, so you can watch that. and in those videos and so if you can see the, the back wall is not really blue those are just lights shining on it and the organ as I said before is smaller than the one in the tabernacle so here we are yeah this is a, it's got let fewer pipes the one in the tabernacle has more pipes this organ can do more because it's newer and it actually is mobile so the one in the con the tabernacle can't be moved but this one can and then if you can see all these big um, balconies that are unsupported, the top one is. And I actually sat up right in the center when I was here in April for conference. And so we will do a, a clip of, of being up there and showing what it looks like from up there. Right now we are in the about 7th or 8th row, and we're just going to watch the organ recital. And so I'll take a few clips of that and that'll be it until then. So if you look, there are lights on behind the organ pipes and you can see the room back there. I've been around here for about three, four months and I've never seen them go back there, the lights on, so that's pretty interesting. Did you see the pictures of it? And just an aerial shot. And this ceiling up here, that's not the ceiling, that's a balcony. 
there's even more seats up there. It's 21,000 people in this room. So we're in here in the conference center. This is the top level. And if you go to this next aisle, right down here, you go all the way down. I sat near maybe the second or third row. Lindsay Deutsch, if you're watching this, you remember because you were with me. And so we would just sit down. As you can see, you can't really see too well from here. And so I actually was watching the body of the General Authority and then the screen while they were speaking. So it was pretty neat when I was here. I had to watch conference and this is down there is actually where I stood during the solemn assembly to sustain President Thomas S. Monson as the president of the church. And it's just so big. This is that top level and if we go all the way down, I don't think we will, but if we did, we would be standing completely on the shelf we're already standing on part of it since we're in this last row, row Y, but we're on the shelf now. So I guess they've recorded that when this has been full, it's actually just uh, alleviated, gone down an inch. And so that's pretty impressive. The whole uh, room holds 21,000 people, and so that is a lot of people. They wanted it to hold 31, but it, it wasn't going to be able to do that without pillars. And President Hinckley, the last president of the church, did not want pillars. He had a bad experience in the tabernacle when they had pillars and he couldn't see and different people couldn't see and they got a lot of complaints about that. So when they built this building, there were no pillars. Just see, if you went up there, that would just be the air exhausts and different things that are in the building. And uh, it's really neat. We'll continue the tour. That's the waterfall. Coming down the water from the top of the building, there's the temple and the square. Then one thing that you'll find neat is that these are the pictures of the, uh, the 12 apostles. And right now there's only 11 because the one that was just called in April, they're still doing his picture. And I wonder if they'll have it done by October. It's Quentin L. Cook, David A. Bednar, Jeffrey R. Holland, Robert D. Hales, Richard G. Scott, Joseph B. Worthlin, M. Russell Ballard, Dallin H. Oaks, I actually met him, Russell M. Nelson, I actually met him also, L. Tom Perry, I met him too, and Boyd K. Packer, President of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, I have not met him. Dieter F. Uchtdorf, President Dieter F. Uchtdorf, President Thomas S. Monson, and President Henry B. Iring, First Counselor, Second Counselor, President of the Church, Thomas S. Monson. So that's interesting facts about that. And then as we go through here, if there are past prophets of the busts of them, I'll show that, and then we'll go up to the roof.